Now let's talk about this guy, Glenn Radars. The man's a wizard, but not your typical Merlin with a flashy hat. No, Glenn's the kind of guy who stumbled into the world of magic like a drunk into a lamppost. Now picture this. Glenn Radars, the man whose idea of a magical aura is probably the static shock you get from rubbing your socks on the carpet too fast, becomes a teacher at the prestigious Alzano Imperial Magic Academy. Oh, the irony. Our man Glenn wasn't born with a silver wand in his hand. Nope, his past was as murky as the water you find in a wishing well after tossing in too many hopes and not enough coins. Yet, here he was, standing in front of a chalkboard with more runes than he had patience. Now, onto the starry-eyed hopefuls, his students. They were expecting a mage who could turn the pages of a textbook with a flick of a wand. Instead, they got Glenn, whose idea of a dramatic entrance was tripping over his own robe. First day on the job, Glenn walks into a classroom filled with faces eager for the secrets of the cosmos. What does our hero do? He scribbles magic is a bunch of mumbo-jumbo on the board. Oh, the blasphemy. Now, let's talk about Sistine Fibel. This girl's got dreams bigger than the Academy's library. She believed in the power of magic like a kid believes in Santa. And Glenn? He was about to become the Grinch who stole her magical Christmas. But, oh, Sistine wasn't having any of it. She challenges Glenn to a duel. Yeah, a magical duel. It was like watching a cat chase a laser pointer. Only the cat had fireballs, and the laser pointer was desperately trying to find the exit. In a world where magic was the bread and butter, Glenn was still trying to figure out how to operate the toaster. Yet, amidst the fiery duels and chalk dust storms, something sparked. No, not Glenn's magical prowess. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It was a spark of mentorship, the kind that lights a fire under you. Or, in Glenn's case, literally on him. Now, as the days rolled by between the magical misfires and Glenn's relentless roasting, both verbal and magical, the unlikely professor and his earnest disciple found a rhythm. It was a rhythm that echoed through the halls, sometimes with laughter, sometimes with the boom of a misfired spell, but always with the promise of something extraordinary waiting to unfold. Glenn's past was a closed book, but Sistine and the gang were about to turn the pages, whether Glenn was ready or not. And with every rune deciphered and every spell cast, the unconventional mage and his plucky students stepped into a realm where magic was not just a subject, but the script of their shared destiny. So, as the sun set behind the towers of the academy, casting long shadows on the pathway of the arcane, Glenn knew this was just the quirky start of a whimsical journey. The kind that didn't just defy the laws of magic, but rewrote them in a narrative only Glenn Radars could orchestrate. And that, folks, was how Glenn Radars, the unlikely maestro of magic, took the first steps in a narrative filled with whimsy, wonder, and a dash of what the hell just happened. Oh, magic, you unpredictable beast! What hilariously chaotic tune will Glenn dance to next? All right, folks. Let's dive into the mystical waters of Alzano Imperial Magic Academy, where every girl isn't just a regular dame, but a sorceress with a wand that can turn your world upside down before you can say hocus pocus. Now, meet the leading ladies. First up, we've got Sistine Fiebel. Sistine's the kind of girl who's got stars in her eyes and magic at her fingertips. Literally. She believes in the heart of magic like it's her morning coffee. She's all about the ancient spells, mystical runes, and the romantic notion of the arcane. But don't let those pigtails fool you. Cross her path, and she might just turn you into a frog. Or worse, give you extra homework. Next up, we've got Rumia Tingle. Sweet, sweet Rumia. She's the sugar to Sistine's spice. Rumia's got a heart so big that it might as well have its own gravitational pull. She's the calm in the magical storm that brews around her, always there with a comforting word or a healing spell. But, oh, she's got a past shrouded in a mystery wrapped up in an enigma and sprinkled with royal secrets. Now, on to Celica Arfonia. Celica's the veteran sorceress whose eyes have seen the centuries roll by. 
She's got that timeless elegance and a magical prowess that could probably turn back time. But she's taken on the role of a mentor to our man Glenn, possibly her most challenging spell yet. And then there's Rattle Rayford. Real is like the enigma wrapped in a riddle, with a straight face that's harder to read than the ancient runes. She's got a stoic demeanor that could give a statue a run for its money and a loyalty towards Glenn that's as unshakable as the laws of magic. Or so we thought. Now, these girls aren't just stirring cauldrons. They're stirring the pot of Glenn's quirky life at Alzano. Each one brings a flavor of magic that's as unique as their personalities. From Sistine's fiery passion to Rumia's nurturing nature, from Celis's wise counsel to Rettle's stoic loyalty, they are the magical concoction brewing in the heart of Alzano Academy. And our man Glenn, oh, he's got his hands full. Not with magical spells, but with the whims and wonders of these enchanting sorceresses. Each day with them is like a new page in a spell book, unpredictable, unnerving, but unequivocally unforgettable. Between the spellcasting classes and the mystical misadventures, Glenn and these magical maidens are writing their own spellbinding story. A story filled with laughter, learning, and the luminescent glow of magic that shines bright even in the darkest dungeons. So, as the magic dust settles and the mystical moon shines down on Alzano, Glenn and the girls are carving a niche in the magical realm, each one adding her unique spell to the whimsical tale that unfolds. And amidst the spells and enchantments, there lies a camaraderie that's as magical as the ancient spells etched in the heart of Alzano Academy. Yes, folks, Alzano isn't just an academy. It's the whimsical world where magic and mischief mingle, and every day is a spellbinding adventure waiting to unfold. So, buckle up as Glenn and the magical maidens of Alzano take you on a whimsical ride through the enchanted halls of the academy where magic is not just a subject, but the essence of their extraordinary existence. All right, folks, grab onto your magic hats, because we're diving into the whimsical whirlpool of Glenn and Sistine's camaraderie. Now, if Hogwarts had a reality show, these two would be the stars, with their magical mishaps and spellbinding squabbles. Now, Glenn and Sistine, they didn't start on the right foot. In fact, they started on a fiery foot, with Sistine challenging Glenn to a magical duel. It was like watching a cat fight with fireworks, and our man Glenn was holding onto the sparklers. Sistine is that high-flying idealist who dreams of soaring through the skies of the arcane. And Glenn? Oh, he's more of a magic-is-just-fancy-finger-tricks kind of guy. But fate, with a sprinkle of magic dust, threw them together in the cosmic classroom of Alzano Academy. Their first meeting was like mixing fire and water in a cauldron with sparks flying high. Sistine was all about the ancient spells, while Glenn was trying to spell ancient. It was a magical mismatch that was destined to either explode or create the perfect potion. Now, as the days rolled by, between the magical misfires and accidental incantations, Glenn and Sistine found a rhythm. It was a rhythm of spells and rebuttals, of magic and mockery, and amidst the chaos, there brewed a peculiar mentorship. Oh, Glenn was not your typical wizard mentor. His teaching methods were as unconventional as his view on magic. Imagine getting an... in your spellcasting test, only to realize the F stood for fantastics in Glenn's magical dictionary. Sistine, with her dreamy eyes set on the mystical skies, was determined to unlock the secrets of the heavens. And Glenn, well, he was beginning to unlock the whimsical world of mentoring one magical misadventure at a time. Their journey was filled with magical duels, spell-casting squabbles, and that one time when they accidentally turned the classroom into a jungle. It was a learning experience, not just of spells and incantations, but of patience, persistence, and the peculiar bond of mentorship. Amidst the mystical mayhem, Glenn and Sistine were writing their own spellbook of friendship, a book where every page was a whimsical narrative of trials, triumphs, and the magical tapestry of teacher-student camaraderie. They say opposites attract, 
and in the magical realm of Alzano, Glenn and Sistine were the living testament. Their interactions were a blend of magical mishaps and earnest endeavors, creating a narrative that was as enchanting as the ancient spells they were deciphering. As the magical sun set behind the whimsical world of Alzano, Glenn and Sistine stood amidst the arcane aura, with the promise of more magical misadventures awaiting them. Their mystical dance was a blend of whimsy, wonder, and a dash of what the hell just happened, painting a whimsical picture of the magic that lay ahead. So, as the curtains of the magical theater drew close, the tale of Glenn and Sistine was just the beginning of a spellbinding narrative, a narrative that was as unpredictable as a spell cast by Glenn Radars himself. And as they say in the magical realm, the whimsy was just getting started. So, I'll hold on to your wands, folks, because the magical dance of Glenn and Sistine was a whimsical whirlwind that was just starting to whirl. All right, folks, let's step into the mystical melody that plays between Glenn and Rumia. Now, in the realm of Alzano, where magic's the name and spell casting's the game, there's a tune of friendship that's serenading the arcane skies. And the keynotes? Glenn radars and Rumia tingle. Now, Rumia is the kind of girl whose smile can probably light up the dark side of the moon. She's the epitome of grace, with a heart that beats the rhythm of kindness. And Glenn, our quirky spellcaster, he's more like the drumbeat that never follows the conventional tune. But together, they create a symphony that's nothing short of magical. The narrative of Glenn and Rumia is like a magical concerto, where each interaction is a note that adds to the whimsical harmony. Glenn with his unconventional teaching antics, and Rumia with her nurturing nature, they're the spellbinding duo that brings a whole new melody to the halls of Alzano Academy. From the get-go, it was clear that Rumia had a thing for understanding the heart of magic, while Glenn, well, he had a knack for understanding the heart of the matter. And when these two chords struck together, the magic resonated through the arcane halls. Their camaraderie was like a spell that bloomed under the mystical moon. It was filled with notes of encouragement, chords of understanding, and a melody of mutual respect that danced through the magical breezes. Now, amidst the magical mumbo-jumbo and the spell-casting shenanigans, there was a tune of trust that played between Glenn and Rumia. Rumia's trust in Glenn was like a steadfast spell, unwavering and unyielding, as if cast by the ancient sorcerers of yore. And Glenn, oh, 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 he had a peculiar way of showing he cared. Like that one time when Rumia was in danger, and our man Glenn was ready to dive headfirst into the abyss to protect her. It was like watching a rock star diving into a crowd of ravenous fans, only here. The crowd was a swarm of dark sorcery and Glenn was armed with nothing but his wit and whimsy. Each spell cast, each magical mishap, and each earnest endeavor added a note to their whimsical tune. Their camaraderie was like a warm tune amidst the cold spells, a tune that echoed the essence of trust, understanding, and the magic of genuine companionship. Through the whimsical waves of magic and the rhythm of resolve, Glenn and Rumia crafted a melody of friendship that was as enchanting as the ancient hymns of Alzano. It was a melody that transcended the spellbooks, resonating the pure essence of friendship amidst the mystical mayhem. So, as the magical moon cast its spellbound beams onto the whimsical world of Alzano, the harmony of Glenn and Rumia played on, an ode to friendship, a symphony of magic, and a tune that's destined to resonate through the annals of Alzano's arcane history. Yes! Folks, in the grand orchestra of Alzano's magical realm, the tune of Glenn and Rumia's friendship was a magical melody that was nothing short of spellbinding. And as the magical notes played on, the whimsical world of Alzano danced to the rhythm of their magical harmony. All right, folks, let's turn the whimsical pages of Glenn and Celica's spellbook. Now, in the fantastical world of Alzano, where magic is more common than common sense, We've got a duo that's as unlikely as a snowstorm in July, Glenn Radars and Celica Arfonia. Now, Celica, she's like that mystical guru who's been around the arcane block. She's got more magic in her pinky than most wizards have in their entire wand-waving bodies. And Glenn? Well, 
He's got more sarcasm than a stand-up comedian at a roast. But when it comes to magic, he's like a cat with thumbs, unconventional yet effective. Their relationship, oh, it's the kind of thing you'd see in a magical sitcom. Celica is the seasoned sorceress with a heart of gold, and Glenn is the rookie with a heart of, well, let's just say his heart's often in the right place, just like his spells eventually. Celica took Glenn under her enchanting wing when he was just a magic, less muggle in a world of wizards. She saw something in him, maybe it was his quirky charm or his knack for getting into magical mishaps that could make even a broomstick laugh. Under Celica's mentorship, Glenn started seeing magic beyond the smoke and mirrors. He began to unravel the whimsical world of wizardry, one misfired spell at a time. It was like watching a toddler learn to walk, only with more explosions and fewer diapers. Their days at Alzano were filled with magical lessons and life lessons, sometimes delivered by a spell, sometimes by a sarcastic remark. It was a teaching method that had its own charm like a spell that doesn't work until you learn the magic words of please and thank you. Now, amidst the magical mayhem, Glenn and Celica's bond grew stronger than a dragon's scales. They shared laughs, spells, and on the odd occasion, a potion gone wrong that turned the classroom into a zoo. It was a magical circus, and they were the ringmasters, orchestrating chaos and learning in equal measures. Celica was more than just a mentor to Glenn. She was the magical compass guiding him through the stormy seas of sorcery. And Glenn, he was the unpredictable wind that kept their magical journey anything but mundane. Through each spell cast and every potion brewed, they discovered the magic of mentorship, the camaraderie of conjury, and the whimsy of wizardry. It was an alliance that broke the mold, a magical camaraderie that was as enchanting as the spells they cast, as the sun cast long shadows on the hallowed halls of Alzano, Glenn and Celica stood amidst the arcane aura, with a tale of magic, mentorship, and the kind of friendship that's more magical than any spell. It was an unlikely alliance that crafted a narrative as unique as the spells in Alzano's ancient grimoires. And as they ventured into the mystic unknown, with spells in their hearts and magic in their souls, the tale of Glenn and Celica was a whimsical narrative that echoed through the arcane annals of Alzano, a tale of magic, mentorship, and an unlikely alliance that was nothing short of spellbinding. Ladies and gentlemen, in the grand theater of magic, where spells are the currency and wizards are the celebs, there exists a duo so peculiar yet so spellbinding, it's like a wizard brewed a potion and forgot to read the warning label. Meet Glenn Radars and Rel Rayford. Now, Rael is like that quiet kid in the class who might just be plotting to take over the world or maybe just deciding what to have for lunch. And Glenn, well, he's got the subtlety of a firecracker in a library. Together, they're like an arcane sitcom waiting to happen. Their story kicks off with a bang. Just like a spell gone wild, their first encounter was anything but ordinary. Rael, with her stoic stance and a sword that could probably slice the moon in half, and Glenn, with his charisma that could probably talk the moon into doing it itself, in the magical arena of Alzano, where every day is a chance to defy the laws of nature, Glenn and Revel found a rhythm of their own. Their interactions were like a magical dance of intellect and instinct, a choreography of chaos that only they could orchestrate. Now, let's talk about the oddity of their alliance. Glenn, with his unconventional magic tricks and Rell with her sword skills sharper than a dragon's tooth, they were the epitome of the phrase opposites attract. And, oh, how they attracted trouble. It was like the universe saw them and said, let's make things interesting. Rell was like the silent storm, and Glenn was the loud breeze that announced it. Together, they faced trials that could send shivers down the spine of even the bravest sorcerers. Whether it was facing a rogue wizard or solving a magical mystery, they were the duo that made the impossible look hilariously possible. Their camaraderie was like a well-brewed potion, a blend of humor, bravery, and a sprinkle of madness. Glenn's whimsical wisdom, coupled with Rell's stoic strength, created a magical mix that was as unpredictable as a spell cast by a cat with a wand. Amidst the whirlwind of spells and sorcery, Glenn and Revel taught each other lessons that no spellbook could. 
Glenn showed Rel the whimsy of magic while Real showed Glenn the power of silent strength. It was a learning experience that was as magical as the spells that danced around them. As they navigated through the labyrinth of magic facing foes that threatened to turn their world upside down, they found strength in their unlikely alliance. They laughed in the face of danger, joked in the shadow of doom, and cast spells that echoed through the halls of Alzano with a resonance of resilience and camaraderie. And as the sun dipped below the magical horizon of Alzano, casting a spell of twilight across the realm, Glenenrel stood as the emblem of an unlikely yet unbreakable alliance, a testament to the magic that brewed in the heart of the whimsical world of Alzano. Ladies and gentlemen, in a world where magic was the norm, Glenn and Real were the delightful anomaly that made the realm of Alzano a narrative worth telling, a story of magic, friendship, and the kind of camaraderie that was as spellbinding as the ancient spells that resonated through the mystical realm of Alzano. All right, folks, we've ridden the magic carpet through the whimsical world of Alzano and witnessed the spellbinding antics of Glenn and his enchanting ensemble of Femi Fatales. Now, as the sun sets on the magical horizon, it's time to roll the credits on this arcane adventure. But not before we take a magical mirror to reflect on the roller coaster of relationships our sarcastic sorcerer has navigated. Now, Glenn, our unconventional hero, has had more than his fair share of magical mishaps. But through each misadventure, he's forged bonds stronger than the mightiest spells with Sistine, Rumia, Silica, and Revela. It's like a sorcerer's version of a modern family, with more spells and fewer awkward Thanksgiving dinners. Let's take a whimsical walk down memory lane with Glenn and Sistine. Oh, their journey from magical misfits to a dynamic duo was like watching a rom-com scripted by a wizard with a wicked sense of humor. The sparks between them could probably power up a small village. And I ain't talking about the magical kind. Now onto Glenn and Rumia, a tale of camaraderie that's as warm as a fire spell in a winter chill. Their bond was a testimony to the magic of friendship that even the ancient tomes of Alzano would find hard to describe. Glenn and Selica, ah, the mentor and the misfit. Their story was a blend of magical mentorship and the kind of humor that could make a gargoyle giggle. It was a tale of growth, guidance, and the occasional magical goof-up that left the halls of Alzano echoing with laughter. And then there's Glenn and Rel, a duo that redefined the phrase, opposites attract. Their interactions were a blend of sword strikes and sarcastic strikes, a dance of defense and defiance that left the foes dazed and the audience amazed. As Glenn stood amidst the magical aura of Alzano, reflecting on the past shenanigans and the future possibilities, he knew he wasn't just a part of Alzano's history. He was a part of its magic, its humor, its heart. With a heart full of memories and a spellbook full of adventures yet to be had, Glenn knew the magic of Alzano was not just in its spells, but in the bonds he forged with Sistine, Rumia, Selica, and Riavel. It was a magical narrative that was as enchanting as the aura of Alzano.